peace, power, and protection, my beautiful, beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to First Side Visions. I have missed you all so much. Mercury retrograde has been retrograding, beloved. <laughs> so wherever you are on the planet, I will all is peace, all is blissed on your side of the world. I have been going through the motions, but still getting through it because I'm just... I'm riding, I'm riding the waves, beloved, as we are all uh, intended to. So it is truly a pleasure to be here to present and to provide your Scorpio reading. Uh, what a beautiful time to be alive, <laughs> you know? It's like life is real interesting these days, isn't it? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Like I have found myself especially with this mercury retrograde energy um just being challenged it's been a lot of challenges a lot of things testing my patience you know um and 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 testing me by pushing me to limits that in the past i would have probably blew blew a fuse <laughs> you know i would have you know my, my top would have been popped you know what i'm talking about but I have found like even emotionally, you know, there's been things resurfacing. The month of April is a very emotional and heavy month because there's been a lot of loss in this month in my family, um, even in the family families of uh, my children's fathers, you know, um, both of them lost, you know, you know, mothers, fathers in this month. I've lost my grandfather, my father, you know, just a lot of loss, you know, cousins, and you know. Um, so even just trying to navigate, you know, those emotions while still showing up in the world and still being challenged, um, just daily life stuff, you know, happening. Um, it has definitely uh, showed me that this is going to be a time that we have to uh, remain grounded. We have to make sure that we are not rushing to make decisions. We have to really be uh, mindful uh, to to really meditate. You know, to get ourselves grounded, um, especially when we feel things are kind of getting out of hand. Uh, we don't want to be reactionary. We always want to be proactive, um, and so that is why I. Uh, posted what I did, uh, uh, you know, just sharing with you all, like, look, I haven't forgotten about you, <laughs> beloved trust. I've been trying to to get your reading out, you know, and, and I've been putting in um, hours, you know, it was so, so frustrating uh, that after I complete the reading, I go to listen to it and no sound, like literally no sound. Now, mind you, the computer that I'm using for Scorpio's readings uh, is a brand new computer. I just purchased it last month, <laughs> you know, and so to record a video on a brand new device and there's no audio is just it was baffling. And so I thought I was wise and I said, OK, well, let me use my old computer being as though I was able to do it for a year and a half and had no issues. Beloved, I recorded a beautiful, I mean, every reading that I had recorded, it was just so beautiful, but there was no sound. So um, the third time was the charm for me. I was like, oh, I'm definitely now it like it didn't click until that third time, like you're being tested. Uh, your patience is being tested, uh, you know, and now is not the time for a reading. Like they would tell me like, no. You know what I'm saying? After the first time, I should have just said, okay, let me just sit down and just relax and chill and ease up off trying to give a reading to Scorpios. But no, I was very persistent and they was very and, and they were shoving back. Like they was like standing their ground, like, no, this is not the time for a reading. So I finally had that aha, you know. And so I took a step back, you know, grounded myself. I feel like they wanted me to deal with my own emotions before I uh, provided a reason, uh, a reading for Scorpios, um, because you, we we don't ever want to skew the messages, uh, especially when you know I, I that is not my goal. I don't ever want to come into the reading and be doing my own damn reading. Like I'm reading for the collective energy, so I don't want anything I may be experiencing going through to um, 
you know, to take the reading somewhere else. So I always like to make sure that whatever I'm dealing with personally is already dealt with. Um, and so I believe that that was the reason why those readings, there was no sound because those were personal messages that I feel spirit was speaking directly to me. So today we are doing this yet again. And um, I think it's going to be beautiful. Uh, I feel with what we are approaching, which is, uh, you know, that Scorpio lunar eclipse, which will be on 5-5. Uh, that is going to activate sudden changes, sudden endings, and I do believe it will stir up a lot of the past uh, circumstances that you may have dealt with. Um, certain events are going to take place, and that's really nudging you to, uh, you know, to take a second look at it. You know, some things may require your immediate attention. Um and there's also going to be a lot of heaviness throughout this eclipse because the eclipse is really about it's going to showcase uh things that may have been hidden so it will reveal what was hidden but it's also the time for you to clip your you know the cord cut the cord so to speak um to even change your perspective uh so there's going to be a lot of heaviness relating to the things you may still be attached to that are no longer serving your greatest good. They're not meant to go into this new chapter uh, of your life. It's not meant to go, you know, to carry on into this new chapter. Um, but I also feel that this sense of freedom that you will feel is, is going to be um, absolutely appreciated because you're going to realize just how heavy certain things were or how um, overwhelming certain situations truly were, which could be a reason why those those old emotions will resurface. Uh, some of those residual feelings you were dealing with will come back, especially during Mercury retrograde. Um, so that Mercury retrograde and the eclipse energy is very powerful energy um, to navigate. And so I do feel like um, we're going to have to trust, uh, you know, whatever is released from our lives, whatever spirit is calling for us to do, we're going to have to trust that, which is why I feel it's very imperative to be grounded, balanced, and in alignment with your higher self. Um, that is the only way that you can consult with your higher self, your spirit team is when you are grounded. And so I feel that with these shifts uh, that we are, you know, going to be embarking upon, um, it's really important to be receptive uh, to these changes because this is really what's catapulting you into a whole new paradigm, a whole new reality, your, your new life, your new world, your new chapter, if you will. So uh, be open-minded. Um, also trust your intuition at this time. Uh, as I said, things are going to start surfacing and bubbling up uh, within you. And uh, your solar plexus is your second brain. Uh, a lot of people argue and say it's the first. It could be. That is, it's, it's how you can gauge intuitively, instinctively uh, when something is a potential threat. Um, so you will feel it in your gut first and foremost. So I feel spirit really wants you to trust, uh, that gut instinct because your solar plexus is like the sun that shines within. So always operate and function from a place of self-discipline, knowing your self-worth, your self-value, um, operating from self-love, uh, because then that, uh, speaks to your, 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 uh, your wisdom, your wisdom, your confidence, your strength. Um, so always operate from that space. You know, your uh, your core uh, has to be very solid. So your chi, you need to um, be very, uh, very present right now, you know, to where you are uh, 
sending your energy, you know, because wherever your attention goes, energy flows. And I feel like this is also a time that people will be attempting to harvest or manipulate energy as well. Um, so there could be some hostile energy uh, lurking because the same way you have the good, you have to also expect some some challenging energy as well because there's always that that balance, right? You know, the yin and yang. And that's why, uh, you know, these things are calling for you to be uh, grounded uh, because there's going to be a lot of things trying to challenge you, including a lot of people that may reappear out of the blue, pop up on the grid. You haven't heard from them, seen from them. Last time you heard them, they stabbed you in the back, kept it pushing. Or last time you, you, you saw them, they stole something from you and never saw them again. And now they popping back up. And that's, you know, it's just like that type of energy where it's just like, yeah, they popping up. And it's like the audacity, the audacity. Um, but trust that it's just tests. Um, like I said, patience, young grasshopper. Be, remain patient, you know, with, with yourselves. Um, and uh, don't allow anybody to come back and push buttons uh, to trigger you. You know, you have to know how to uh, not have any triggers, you know, uh, not care what others have to say, what others are doing. Um, you just have to reach that level of complete contentment, uh, surety, um, peace, you know, uh, to not allow others the power you know, to anger you, uh, because whoever angers you controls you. So again, spirit will test you uh, by bringing some folks from your past that you left behind. So you thought um, to test you some more, you know, uh, to to trigger you some more, to entice you into some ridiculous, redundant argument, you know, um, or there could be some past circumstances pertaining love that could reappear um, where you have to know your own worth uh, and question whether or not it's even worth uh, considering going backwards, especially when you have gotten so far, you know, after betrayal or after that tower crashed, you had to rise like the phoenix from the ashes. So um, is it even worth your time? You have to be very transparent, very real. Because as I said, you know, uh, this lunar eclipse is going to uh, truly display to you uh, those very things that it's like done, done, fin, beloved. Chapter's done. This is the finale. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Like, this is done. It's like there's no going backwards um, unless you want to repeat that cycle, you know, um, unless you want to duplicate you know some of these lessons you've been learning so it, it, it's 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 very evident that um we're being challenged right now in many many ways more ways than you could think but i feel like it's because spirit wants you to be your greatest strongest wisest version of yourself and uh when you could stand in that knowingness and and uh own that power you're you're prepared for what Ever life has to throw at you so I feel like you all are uh, coming into a new time a new period and um, you should be very proud of what you've come from what you've persevered from your strength it required that it required strength there's no denying uh, so we're gonna tune in tap in see what the cards have to say that's just what I'm picking up intuitively for anyone that may be new Welcome to the Soul Tribe Soul Family. As I said, my name is Q. I uh, channel messages intuitively. I am an empath and I'm also clairaudient. So during this reading, you will hear music. You'll hear me referencing music, songs, name of artists, lyrics within the song, maybe even the timestamp on the clock. Um, and it will all correlate to what I may be channeling intuitively, as well as what the cards have to say. And uh, it all just kind of blends very beautifully. My spiel here is eat the fish, spit out the bones. So if the reading doesn't apply, just let it fly by. Uh, know that you're more than just your sun sign. So check your moon, rising Venus, Mercury, Mars. Check out the placements for a more clear and uh, concise message for you. Um, 
Also, my readings are timeless, so whenever this video has found you or whenever you felt compelled to click play, that was in fact divine timing, divine order that you have done so. So, before we proceed with the lead, let the read, <laughs> let's go ahead and do some house clean, shall we? I call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit. Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother Gaia, universe, source, the divine, most high God, our creator, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light. I call personally upon Baba Ubatala, Mama Oya, and Baba Ogun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. Help me to pick up on the energy, number, synchronicity, and vibrations of my cards. And so it is. So mote it be. Ashe. 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 So let's see what time we have on the Kiz Ak. So it is officially 516, which is 66. Six. That's 12. That's three beloveds. So divine femininity is what I'm getting. Or divine um, feminine or masculine energy, I should correct myself to say. Um, and we have, who is this? Um, so Earth, Wind, and Fire is playing. Uh, this is called devotion. Um, so that three. Oh man, I'm turning it off. I'm trying to show you. Uh, the um, song so devotion earth wind fire right there you can see that so 516 so something that you've been very diligently working on devoted um, on accomplishing um, I'm, I'm just getting determination drive uh, that's exactly the vibration of the divine feminine which is that three that I was getting um, the empress energy or the emperor if you're a masculine uh, that's a very devoted energy, you know, that those are, they are known uh, to not only rule empires, but they're also known to uh, be the entrepreneurs, you know, um, they are master manifestors, they're very powerful, and they're also self-aware, so uh, very powerful energy, very uh, goal-oriented, driven energy that I'm picking up with that uh, three, so um and then earth, wind, and fire saying devoted. Um, that earth, wind, and fire also just speaks of you uh, being like that magi, you know, tapping into your inner magi, your inner alchemist, where you are aware, you know, uh, that you could utilize all of the elements around you of water, fire, earth, air, ether, spirit. Um, and you're utilizing it to co-create uh, and manifest um, whatever it is you desire. So you realize of uh, your power to do so, to change your circumstance through, um, you know, manipulating the elements, manipulating even your energy or setting your intention, you know, or scribing uh, your petitions or, you know, conducting search, certain rituals. It's like you're, you're embodying that energy of um, the creative you know, the creator. Uh, we are all made in God's image. So uh, we have that ability to create uh, because that's what that divine feminine and masculine energy is. Uh, we tap into our divinity of creation, whether it's birthing life um, or birthing new ideas, birthing new uh, projects, new ways of thinking. Um, our ability as gods and goddesses made in the image of God uh, is to create. So I feel that's why uh, that energy I was picking up on initially uh, was that of someone who's very self-aware, very strong, very firm, uh, and also attractive. That energy is an attractive energy. Others look to you uh, as a guide, as, as a beacon of light, perhaps, or uh, someone informed or enlightened or wise. Uh, so, um, and with that three, I'm also getting like 
you could have learned through heartache, loss, pain, because it's also given the three of swords. That's how you emerged and transformed into that uh, regal and royal emperor or empress energy, um, just through your trial and error. Uh, as I said earlier, you know, if a tower has taken place, as you you've emerged uh, from the ashes and and you have evolved in your way of thinking. So this is a beautiful, beautiful entry into your reading, Scorpios. I'm loving it. So we're gonna tap in, see what we got coming in, going out, going is on. See what we got with the cards. Love it. So we have on the bottom of the deck five. Right. So remember what I said, that Scorpio. Now, mind you, this eclipse is happening in Scorpio's energy and Scorpios are the conduits of what change. And it's happening on what day? Five, five. So this is further confirmation that this is a month where you are going to go through amazing changes, transformations. There's completions. Cycles are coming to an end and you are embarking upon a beautiful, grand new beginning. Spirit is telling you, you've been tried and tested because this five is also associated with the throat chakra. So a lot of you could have been discovering in these past couple of months, past five months, maybe in the past five years, you started to really attune, um, you know, to your, your gifts your psychic gifts or your intuitive gifts. You may have found that you were very amplified in your ability to scry or uh, you were very sensitive to energy or maybe you were um, just really picking up, uh, you know, a lot of messages uh, telepathically. Um, but there's been a lot of changes that have been taking place within you. And it's because you have been, as I said, tested by spirit because you have a purpose. Uh, that five is also dealing with, you know, like I said, the throat chakra, which is your form of expression, whether communicatively, uh, artistically or creatively like that empress and emperor, you are. Uh, that conduit of change. So you are creating the change that's taking place, not only in your life, but you're also helping to activate and awaken those around you. So you are taking on that role as perhaps a, a leader. Um, you are taking on a role perhaps as, uh, you know, maybe someone who's um, a teacher, a, a, an orator. You're disseminating information, perhaps utilizing your throat chakra, um, expressing your truth or expressing um, yourself, you know, so there could be that element. Uh, I also feel that this is about tutelage because I get the Hierophant as well. And the Hierophant uh, is really speaking to scholarly energy. Uh, it's speaking to taking the time to get in that re-re energy, whether it's researching, reflecting, rejuvenating, recuperating, um, you're, you're in an energy and a, a space to, to absorb information, whether it's by means of a book, whether you're in literal classes or whether you are sitting at the feet of elders, uh, you know, master teachers, Reiki healers, perhaps you're sitting amongst shamans in sacred circles, uh, amongst, you know, um, Sufis, you know, you are soaking up knowledge, wisdom, wise don't, and you're gaining spiritual wisdom. Uh, so I feel like these changes that are taking place and the things that are being purged out of your life is to make you lighter spiritually, energetically. Um, you're lightening your load because per first and foremost, everyone are, is not meant to um, go with you you know, go the distance uh, because they are not meant to go wherever you're headed. You know, that's just not in the cards for them. Uh, so there's certain people that will start dropping off um, and out of your life, you know, um, or there could be just certain belief systems, ideologies, habits, behaviors uh, that you will stop. You'll just find yourselves no longer interested. You'll find yourself no longer um nourished by certain things it just won't resonate you know even if it's information you can be listening to uh certain things for a long time feeling like you're just getting fed and then one day it's just like it's not as appetizing um and it's because you 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 know it's it's just 
the new you've gotten all the nutrients you can there's a such thing as um you know doing something too much sometimes it's it, not sometimes but it's 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 necessary for you to get certain information but that information is only supposed to take you but so far and then you elevate to new information that's going to challenge you even more and so i feel like those are the changes that you all are uh, starting to make so this is beautiful um we got michelle here and this is called something uh in my heart so perhaps like i said you know some of you all uh may have just started to feel um you know certain uh things erupt within you certain things come to surface which had you really uh you know um investigating you know what what those emotions were and and what it was that you could have possibly been shoving down or or um dismissing uh so something in your heart may have um awakened opened healed uh you could have healed like i said from heartache and now your heart chakra could be opened um so we have five change and then we also have compassion so that's beautiful. I feel like you have absolutely, uh, through your journey, because as I said, that Hierophant uh, speaks to spiritual, um, you know, wisdom, wise dome, maturation, growth, elevation. You know, you're, you're thinking from an elevated um, state of mind. You're not thinking in, in a way where uh, you're easily gaslit or duped you know um so now there's this ability to uh show compassion um and to even extend um you know the forgiveness to those who may have hurt you or wronged you you're accepting apologies that you may not have ever received and that too is a part of the purge and the change because like i said that's your maturation you realizing that you know hurt people hurt people and it's a continuous thing until someone breaks the cycle and i feel with this energy whatever you're attracting to you um this is an energy uh that is matching your vibration obviously so i feel like whatever you radiate whatever you exude in this world you attract it you know, they're electromagnetic beings, so that's why it's important to always buy higher. Uh, that's why it's very imperative to heal, so as not to be walking around jaded and angry, um, you know, and, and, and misinformed and, and unaware, you know, so, un and not self-aware, more importantly. So I feel like, you know, there's been some major changes uh, that have occurred in your life, which is caused you to go through uh, a transformation uh, and through that transformation uh, you've regenerated uh, you you have gone through some sort of renewal um, and it's a beautiful energy so let's tap in tune and love it so spirit may I have a message for Scorpios may I have a message of peace power and protection for my beautiful beloved Scorpio spirit what messages do you have for my beautiful Scorpios a message of peace power and protection all right this is the last one i heard all right let's cut the deck see what we got coming in going out going is on for my beloved scorpios if those who knew i do cut my deck three times three different directions bottom of the deck overall energy and we have domestic harmony which is at 46. So for some of you, this is what is leading to uh, some sort of new chapter is, like I said, there's an ending. You know, there's there's going to be some some uh, sudden endings. And for some of you, it's in relationship to your connections, your relationships, your friendships, your love ships. They will be or may be um, affected or maybe you will finally be, you know, uh, putting that last nail in the coffin with some of these relationships. There could have been some you know, kind of like, um, you know, flighty energy you could have been dealing with. Uh, you could have been dealing with some real unreliable energy. Uh, we have, um, what is this? Heart. And this is called These Dreams. So perhaps some of you all have been getting some downloads, um, you know, perhaps about things that could be going on and transpiring 
uh, behind the scenes unbeknownst to you. Like I said, I feel uh, during this eclipse, there's going to be some things exposed. Perhaps your angels and guides are uh, showing you uh, some some very important details in your dreams. Uh, maybe you're receiving divine interventions via your dreams. Um, but I also feel with that heart reference, uh, your heart is 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 what you need to also listen to. Um, your heart is is equally um, important. I feel because you've healed from the past pains, you can trust your heart and trust your mind uh, because you're now in alignment. You know, um, I feel like there's a sense of with this 46, uh, whatever endings took place within your relationships whatever happiness which turns to sadness i feel like this is catapulting you into a new chapter and it's a it's necessary for this ending to take place because it's affecting the peace that you are um that you that you require and so i feel like once this this is over once once this chapter um has come to an ending you're going to see just how beautiful uh life is going to turn out i feel there's happy endings i feel there's wish fulfillments even uh because whatever you were dealing with it was blocking blessings it was um blocking happiness i feel like it was derailing certain things from coming in um and it's because whatever it was whether it was a person or whether it was family or fake friends, um, whether it was a job or whether it was a location that you were residing in. I feel like once that is no longer in the equation, you're going to have a fresh start because that ending becomes a new beginning, that one. And that one is associated with the Magi that I was speaking to um, earlier. You know, you have manifested this change unbeknownst to you you know even if you're calling on your spirit guides and your team to uh to open up opportunities for you to expand and grow sometimes you're not going to um recognize or realize uh when spirit is doing what you've asked it may just seem like an uh, ending but it's really your new beginning it's an ending to something that you are saying you no longer wish to uh participate in um, and so spirit is giving you exactly what you asked for, but sometimes it's very difficult for people to see the obvious um, because they are living in it and going through the motions. And so that's why the meditation um, is very essential. So with this energy, you now are starting to believe in your power um, because you're manifesting, you're, you're co-creating with source uh, that one that that 46 reduces to because 10 reduces to one that one is not just associated with the magician um but that just speaks to you now being in alignment your heart and your mind are in alignment uh you have healed you know you've started uh healing um from childhood traumas you started to get to the root cause uh you took the basement all the way up to the crown because you now you see so this one is is speaking to you standing erect standing up for yourself um standing your ground uh, and using that one because that one is not only felicious so it speaks to how attractive you are as well you know how others are uh admiring your strength admiring um your wisdom your wise dome but also uh it speaks to you using you know it's like an instrument you know that one that wand could be like an instrument to manifest so you are co-creating right now with source and you are uh the one that's going to step away from uh anything that does not honor you or serve your highest good i feel like you're now aware um of who you are you're starting to um you know you're starting to really own that power just as i said uh, who we have right now is we have uh, Matumi, and this is called You, Me, and He. So some of you could have had heartbreak because you discovered there were third parties. Um, you know, you were in an entanglement, perhaps, uh, and this was not anything that you agreed to. You didn't sign up for that ish. 
So that was, you know, again, that was, or probably uh, for some of you, that was the experience you may have had, which caused the heartache that I was picking up with that three as well, the three of swords, healing from the trauma, healing from the pain, which led you to getting to the root cause of why you may have, you know, put up with certain things um, that happen within your relationship dynamics. Um, but I feel now uh, you're you're embarking on something beautiful because you now know your power. You're now aware fully of who you are. Look at that. 77 spirituality is in the bottom of the deck. And again, whenever I see double numbers, I feel uh, that is the energy of the person you're attracting or whatever you're attracting to you. So whomever you're attracting to you, whatever you're attracting to you, it's like there's a likeness, you know. Um, this is something that uh, is a mirrored reflection of you. Um, this is also someone uh, who has been learning as well. They could have been learning from you. Uh, this is someone who could uh, pride themselves on um, being a spiritual being, uh, someone who could be equally intuitive, psychic, uh, gifted, someone who's on that frequency. My throat is getting itchy. And that 7-7... Seven, seven <coughs> Hold on a moment. Yes, <clears throat> oh, excuse me. So, as soon as I started talking about this person, you can see clearly this is 7-7. Seven, seven, so, that breaks down <clears throat> to 14, which is 5. And I was about to speak on the throat chakra. I don't feel there's communication like you're speaking to this person on the phone or texting, whomever this is. You are familiar with this person. Um, and if you aren't familiar with this person, it will feel like that. There will be a familiarity or some form of similarity. Pardon me. Um, but I feel this is someone that desperately desires to communicate with you. So they may send you messages intuitively and telepathically um they may visit you in your dreams like heart was uh singing earlier uh this could be someone that i do feel um there's a standoff almost you know i feel like not only are you very protective of your peace and guarded um but i feel whoever this is is as well uh because i feel like you both may have had similar life experiences where um, your trust, um, you know, your trust was taken for granted. Someone could have deceived you or betrayed you. And this person you're attracting has also experienced similar, um, you know, circumstances. So there's this uh, energy of like personally growing through the pains, you know, um, and, and having to navigate that by means of, you know, getting to the root cause and taking that elevator, you know, from the basement, the base chakra, also known as the root chakra, to the crown. So now there's this heightened uh, level of, uh, you know, awareness, but also just you being uh, very keen um, on energy, speaking energy now, being able to uh, be very sensitive, very empathic, uh, and whomever you're attracting to, they too are um, just as spiritual, just as connected, just as psychic, and I feel like that's the way they communicate with you, uh, because there is no communication, because you both are um, in your own bubbles, you know, um, still healing, or still, uh, you know, very protective, like you may have your safe space, you know, and you don't let too many people in, you're very, very protective of your peace. So let's tap in and see who this is that you are attracting to you. Who's this person or what is Scorpio's attracting to them? They have a message of peace, power, and protection. Spirit, thank you, spirit. So we got a couple of messages that flew out. So we have intuition. So as I said, this person is just a psychic. So intuitively, I feel they speak to you. This is another double, double number, as you are aware. Uh, it also breaks down to four. So if you're a divine feminine, you have a divine masculine that's truly thinking of you and they are communicating with you telepathically. And I do feel their heart chakra is open 
uh, to you. Um, this is someone who's uh, realizing perhaps maybe they love you. Someone who's had to learn uh, some life lessons or someone who may have been, you know, seeking advice from, you know, some ans you know, some elders, or let's say ancestors, but some of their elders, maybe they're speaking to their ancestors, maybe their ancestors are behind this connection and aligning you all conspiring behind the scenes. Um, maybe the angels are doing this. Um, we have right now Houdini, five minutes of funk. So with Houdini, this could be also someone who could have ghosted you in the past, you know, um, or this is someone you could have ghosted or this is someone who's kind of like in the backgrounds, like the phantom, you know, with that five that I'm getting from this two, two, four and this 46, one, five is there's obviously no communication. Um, but there's also someone who could have, um, ghosted you, betrayed you, uh, abandoned you. Uh, maybe this is someone who is under the influence of their, uh, friends and family, you know, someone listening to like the, the dun 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 crew, uh, not making their own um, decisions, not even trusting their own intuition, uh, kind of going along, get along, appeasing the please. This is someone who has regrets now uh, because they could have ghosted you prematurely. Uh, they could have said things, you know, that were very ignorant or judgmental or just hurtful. Um, and I feel now, you know, um, there is this sense of them desiring to come back to to return um because i'm getting a strong sense with that that one it's like they want this new beginning you know they, they they are attracted to you they do have love for you you know but um they're also fully aware of the things they may have said they could have come off very smug um and i feel now with this you know with this houdini uh playing rising power uh, to the brother, you know, but I feel like, you know, this is someone who's now realizing, you know, they've made a mistake. So I do feel there's regret. That could be why there's compassion. The compassion card showed up because they want you to forgiveness. Um, they desire forgiveness. They desire perhaps, um, you know, to rectify the situation. Uh, so we also have uh, self 61 self-love. So with the 61 self-love, I do feel like this is someone, like I said, who had to learn to love. Um, this is someone who could have been emotionally uh, premature uh, or stunted, uh, someone who was not vulnerable at all, um, someone who just was devoid of emotion. Uh, and they had to go through something in order to learn. Because remember, we had that 7-7, um, seven, seven, and the 61 reduces to 7. And remember, I spoke to personal growth. So they had to learn love, love language. They had to learn to love themselves because before you could love anyone else, you have to love yourself. You know, you have to know how to love yourself. And with the seven and this four that's on the table right here for the person you're attracting, this is someone that could potentially be your twin flame because this reduces to 11. Um, the 11, like I said, uh, double number. Um, but the ones are representative of getting back to the self, getting back to one, healing thyself, grounding thyself, loving thyself, knowing thyself. Um, and then you come into union with someone who is equally healed. So they say that two halves make a whole, but two wholes make a couple. And so I feel this is someone uh, who is looking at you as someone that they can have that equal give and take you know because initially they had this 22 so they do feel like you and them you know have some sort of divine connection because that four is associated with 11 11 it's the vibration of 11 11 so this is that person that does feel you're the divine feminine or divine masculine you're the yang to their yin or the yin to their yang. You're their cosmic companion. This 11 here is showing that they've been doing their due diligence to heal themselves, to be in equilibrium with you and your vibration. Um, so this could be someone's spirit is conspiring to bring into your life uh, with this one and this two, two, that's five, and this five and this seven, that's 12, that's three. This is someone who could have potentially hurt you and now they may want to return. Um, if this isn't someone that has hurt you, this is someone that could potentially be manifesting 
this connection and preparing, planning, preparing, strategizing how to come toward you with this 37 time out. I feel with that time out energy, as I said, um, when you're healing and working on yourself, you are very protective of your energy. So you're not up in the crowd. You're not all out being social. Um, you're in isolation because that's a, a very sensitive time, critical time. Um, you're growing and, and healing, evolving, maturing. So it's a personal time. So you're not opened to uh, all of this external energy. And I feel your person was also um, doing a lot of internal work because this 37 also reduces to one. So this is that person I feel uh, you could have, you know, had some time apart from. Uh, you could have put them on time out by ghosting them. Remember, Houdini was playing. Uh, so you could have walked away from that connection after it crumbled to the ground. You know, after discovering someone was creeping with you, me, and he, you know, or you, me, and she. You know, whatever the scenario or entanglement was, it was like somebody got put on time out. Um, or maybe you just took the time out from love after experiencing betrayal, heartache, and loss. And you took that time out to learn to love yourself. Um, you trusted your intuition to work on the self. You know, as I said, uh, self-discipline is encompassing uh, all of the, you know, the self-love, self-worth, self-value. That's all encompassing um, when you're speaking to self-discipline. So, you know, taking that necessary time out is what's given you some sort of epiphany. That yellow speaks to illumination, having that aha moment. Uh, if this is an energy of someone you're attracting to you uh, and not your energy, this is someone realizing your value now. Um, this is that person realizing your strength, uh, realizing they took you for granted, or realizing that you were a gem or you were rare. Um, that one, five, seven... That's 12, that's 3, that 3 and that 1 is 4. This could be a divine masculine, but this is someone that also realizes they love you because the 4 is associated, obviously, with the heart chakra. So someone's heart chakra is open. Um, someone's also open to love or ready to love. Um, we have Bobby Womack singing, um, if you think you're lonely now. <laughs> Do you know what I'm talking about? If you think you're lonely now. Wait until tonight, girl. That's literally like everything I just said. Like you could have put somebody on time out because of their mistreatment of you, you know. And so now with the four, somebody's realizing, damn, I love them because all these cards here reduced to four. And I will break it down if you need me to break it down for sake. 46, that's 122, that's five. The five and seven, that's 12, that's three. Three and 37. That's four. This 37 is 10. That's one. So this is four. So this could be a divine masculine um, that's coming to this grand epiphany, you know, that they uh, love someone or maybe someone uh, is coming into the realization that they love that divine masculine that they took for granted and left out in the cold, abandoned, rejected, um, you know, and it was a scenario of like, you know, not not really um, acknowledging someone for who they were. And now they see. So. The revolt, the roles have reversed somehow, but uh, this is definitely that person um, with the compassion nine nine. Someone's really trying uh, very hard to send you these telepathic and intuitive messages to to be forgiving. But I also feel that spirit also reminding you to show compassion. Um, and as I said earlier, compassion and forgiveness is always, it's for you. You know, it's really truly for you. Uh, you don't ever want to carry around baggage and, 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 and hold on to resentment and anger because it only weighs you down. Um, so let's tap it. Let's see who, how this person feels about our beloved Scorpio spirit. Make your message. Thank you, spirit. And we have 81 leadership. So they definitely see you out here bossing. I'm hearing boss hall. So somebody out here must be from Chi-Town, Chicago. I believe that's like a terminology that you all use, boss hall. Um, but this is someone who definitely is a, a familiar somebody. This could be someone you um, could have already established some sort of relationship with. This is someone you have on 
finished business is what I'm hearing, or they feel they have that with you so far. We have 444. So for some of you, this could be like a sacred connection, or this is spirit uh, telling you to trust your intuition. Because whenever you see 444, that is not only spirit letting you know they're with you, uh, but they are really telling you um, in that moment when you see that synchronicity, what are you feeling or thinking of in that moment? Uh, because that's really what you need to pay close attention to. Um, so trust your intuition. If you do happen to receive a message and the train is going by, so there's obviously distance because this could be that same person that hurt you, that betrayed you because the 444 that's on the table right now uh, breaks down to 12. 4 times 3 is 12. That's, uh, that's um, 3. So that's someone that did hurt you. This is someone who has been like mirroring you the entire time. So this could be that person that really um, maybe the timing was off. Somebody could have been in a relationship because we had you, me, and he. So maybe you discovered someone that you were starting to hit things off with. You, feel, you felt you had so much chemistry, so much of a connection, and then you found out like, dang, they still mess around with somebody they were with. They didn't necessarily have to live with that person or maybe they weren't really in a relationship with someone, but they were always prioritizing someone from their past, a karmic from their past over you. So your connection with them uh, may not have grown. It may not have matured because it wasn't cultivated. It wasn't nurtured. Um, so whoever this is, I feel this is someone you may have met perhaps at your job. Um, but this green card and the numbers four, number fours uh, deal with the heart chakra. So I really strongly feel this is that same person I was feeling. Their heart chakra is open to you. And I feel like the heart chakra can't open unless it's healed. Um, this person has taken the time to, you know, heal themselves, love themselves. Love is an inside job. You have to first love you before you can ever extend um, that love to another person. And I feel this person has been taking those steps to grow, to mature, um, and it's because they could be learning from you because this is someone watching you. I feel this is absolutely someone watching you. Uh, this is also someone who dreams of you as well. Um, dreams of this connection, perhaps, uh, rehearses perhaps what they're going to say to you when they do communicate because they do desire to, to communicate. They do desire to take action, but they are very guarded and very protective as well. My throat is getting blocked again a little. <clears throat> and so with this 44, I feel this is someone that wants to rebuild, um, reconnect. Uh, you know, they may want to, you know, rekindle a connection with you because that eight is giving me like the eight of pentacles. So they're willing to put in the work um, or at least they know that's what they're going to have to come back and display because you are, uh, you have evolved, beloved. Um, you have transformed into that butterfly. You went to, you went through those ugly stages, you know, of being the lava and turning into the, you know, going through the cocooning and then from the cocooning, you, you, you transformed, you know. Um, so it's like you have really truly done enormous work amazing work and so whoever this is they aren't convinced that coming back and putting on a facade um is it ever going to be um uh possible when it comes to you you know because you'll see right through it they know you're completely in tune and tapped in um so they they can't even come in and play with your intelligence like that so they they said the best thing i gotta do is i gotta work on me so that I could present my best self because as an empress and an emperor, um, you don't settle, <laughs> you know, you, you will never settle. So this 4-4 four four is given, this person is very familiar with you and you are very familiar with them. This could even be a secret admirer, someone you may bump into every single day and don't even realize it. This could be that neighbor that has a strong attraction to you or adoration. Um, this could be someone that you may see, uh, you know, at the you know, local grocery store that you frequent or the local trail you run or jog or walk, uh, you know, in your community. This is someone that um, definitely has love, someone that definitely um, is very intrigued. Uh, we have um, Peter Tosh 
and this is called I am that I am so absolutely they see you um, as someone who's uh, very much um, you're different you know you're, you're there's this mystique around you but there's also this element to you who just embraces and celebrates being your authentic self you're not you don't care about getting into the circles to fit in um, you don't care about uh, you know the popular you don't you don't care about those mundane things and they love that you are who you are uh, and maybe in the past they didn't appreciate it uh, they didn't see your value um, but now as I said they see you know your rarity they are very much aware uh, that you're a rare gem uh, a rare find they will never ever bump into another you in this lifetime um, and so they are truly uh, in awe you know um, we got 81 on the bottom of the deck and we're about to pull what's hidden so what's hidden in the energy this leadership your life is about to take off because the solar eclipse is aligning you with your purpose uh, whether that is embarking on this new spiritual career that we've been seeing in about the last 50 readings for Scorpios, you know, uh, whatever it may be. We got 555 five, five on the clock. Let me show you. So that breaks down to 15. 15 breaks down to 6. Um, so that's your first side. So a lot of you are channelers, psychics, intuitives, clairvoyants, clairaudience, clairsentience. You could be scryers. Um, you could be healers, shamans, like workers. Uh, you could be Sufis. But you have been anointed and appointed your role and that is the reason why things are falling with that 555 that's also uh just confirming that you know during the solar eclipse the scorpion solar eclipse beloved uh change beloved is going to come that would that's the card that opened up the reading when we first touched the deck a change beloved is coming so you have to embrace change you have to be open and receptive to check to the change um, and you have to trust the process by surrendering um, with this leadership here I feel this is your new role this is the new and improved you uh, that you will be taking on owning um, this is beautiful so let's tap in so what's hidden in the energy thank you spirit and so we have a compassion beloved so this compassion flew out so i feel like with that you got two two four four nine nine so double numbers across the board so there is um almost some i'm getting like this is a sacred union a spiritual partnership uh this could be business partnerships also it doesn't have to solely uh relate to love because uh, everyone isn't looking for love everyone's heart chakra isn't open to love um, so these could be business partnerships. This could even mean you're coming into uh, connections that are going to be very meaningful. Uh, you will be networking with people that are like-minded individuals, people on the same frequency, vibration, wavelength as you. They will speak your language. Um, so you will be cultivating some really powerful connections, uh, you know, in this new chapter. We have on the bottom of the deck, uh, New Beginnings. So, as I said earlier, you're embarking on this fresh start, you know, and that's the reason why this eclipse is very important. That's why a lot of the, these celestial energies, period, are important and we should embrace uh, whatever it presents within us, whatever it brings up. We have to trust those are the things that we are meant to work on. Just as I said, when I was trying to record your readings and there were no, there was no sound in any of the readings on brand new devices. Yes, we could chalk it up to, oh, Mercury retrograde, but I looked deeper into it and realized spirit was like, no, these are not, this isn't the energy for all Scorpios. This is what I'm telling you, beloved. So we have to realize when spirit is communicating with us um, and giving us downloads, um, because we already know Mercury retrograde, it interrupts communication. Um, there's delayed response. We get all, you know, the length, we, we start tripping over our words during this time. So the communication during this time is tested as well. So I feel very much like um, whatever this is, you know, that's hitting, hidden. I feel like, you know, this is spirit just reminding you um, not only to trust the process, but to also be forgiving, you know, 
uh, because hurt people hurt people hurt people. You know, it's a perpetual cycle until someone takes onus and accountability and says, I'm going to heal that ish. I'm not going to perpetuate nothing. I'm going to heal this. So it, this ish can stop right here with me. So you all are being reminded the importance of, um, of being forgiven. Um, but you're also being told just because you're forgiven doesn't mean you have to be a doormat either. This is also the energy I'm getting of like the nine of wands where, you know, you've had it up to here. You know what I'm talking about? Like you, 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 you're not going to take uh, unnecessary nonsense just for the sake of, you know, trying to be, you know, all loving and accepting and, you know, having this, 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 uh, kind of like this this Jesus mentality like no it doesn't mean you have to be uh ignorant and passive um it just means that uh you can be forgiven you know and love people from a distance if necessary um but never carry the burden and the responsibility of having you know that that resentment and that animosity um you know just just you're, you're carrying around that on your back and, and it's weighing you down energetically. It's, it's, it's anchoring you. Um, so spirit is reminding you, be forgiving and non-judgmental as well. You know, because just as I said, you know, hurt people hurt people. And there was a time when you may not have had the wise dome to not react and respond uh, to some of the antics and some of the the foolishness that is evident and obvious now um a lot of people aren't where you are so we have to give people the grace to get there you know but you don't have to be foolish like i said doesn't mean you have to welcome people right on back it just means you establish those boundaries and you draw the line in the sand and let people know how far they can go you know what i'm talking about so spirit is reminding you stay on your square stay in control of your life that nine is also giving me you know that nine of pentacles you are very powerful uh everything that you have achieved has been on your own merit it's been through your own works um you didn't have no support system you didn't have no team you didn't have no cool you know there was nobody you could lean on and so i feel like that's another reason why spirit is telling you like look um focus on you you don't have to uh you don't have to internalize anything that anyone is trying to present to you because it could also be uh, that someone's, you know, their, their consciousness is, is very heavy right now because they're seeing something that they dismissed and discarded uh, without a second thought. They're seeing how you have evolved and, and have emerged as this star. They see you as a star, you know, um, that 44, that 8, you know, this is someone that definitely... Um, recognizes you as a star or as some form of a wish fulfillment and with this one here on the bottom of the deck that's the attraction this is that uh, desire to have that brand new start with scorpio i desire you know to have a start with scorpio because things may have started prematurely as i said maybe the timing wasn't right because maybe there were some entanglements maybe it wasn't a karmic ex that betrayed you that's trying to work their way in maybe this is someone that you could have had a dope connection to in the past but it just never took off because you felt like you were seeing red flags so you could have put them on time out maybe this is someone that you did open yourself to but they could have thought they was all of that because they could have had other options and they could have dismissed you and didn't really see your worth and your value and so you have to question whether or not that's something you desire to entertain because it's like if you didn't see me then and now you see me. Maybe I don't see you. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? But let's tap it, beloved. So this one, New Beginnings, you're manifesting fresh starts. We have on the playlist right now, um, Marvin Gaye. And this is called After the Dance. So, yeah, he was definitely, um, you know, when I hear a dance, like I feel like somebody, um, you know, could have been uh, just kind of like maybe... How do you say like trying because when you when you dance with someone, it's like someone has to kind of lead, you know, in, in the movement, you know, dancing to me is about movement. Um, and so I feel like that was something that you didn't see. There was no movement and you wasn't going, you know, you wasn't going to play those games, you know. So I just feel like you you definitely 
made a decision to put somebody on time out and now there's uh, perhaps this person coming back because they're realizing just how attracted to you and how much this passion you know they feel this passion or this desire you know to to uh, you know to try again you know I'm hearing Aaliyah dust yourself off and try again you should dust it off and try again try again uh -huh. you don't want to throw it all away I might be shy on the first day but about the next day yeah yeah so this person could have been like playing hard to get you know it was like a little dance you know like this little you know how they say a little song and dance so this could have been someone who was shy and bashful you know um and you just wasn't there for that you know and so maybe now they're coming back a little more assertive you know maybe they're coming back like you know ready and prepared so more solid more sturdy but let's take a look and i also feel they're in this, this position where you know they're reflecting a lot which is why they're now seeing some things that they may not have seen in the past so so far we have uh we got this four uh the four and the four 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 that's twelve that's three uh, that three in the nine that's still three okay so somebody could be right now planning and preparing strategizing um maybe this is someone's desire is that you show compassion and that you're not guarded um you know that you are opened you know receptive um when they do come in because this is someone really trying to plan it out uh you know trying to plan it out because they do want to reunite they do want to reconnect because that train uh was indicating that there is distance and someone wants to close the gap so let's tap in so what is the outcome for my beloved scorpios thank you spirit look at that and we have on the bottom of the deck follow your dream so yeah this person does see you as that wish fulfillment um i also feel like they see you embarking upon your dreams um you're moving to the beat of your drum these days like you're not like just fitting into um any type of of um what do you call it like you're, you're not just fitting in um you're 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 expanding your mind you're 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 uh doubling down on um you know what it is you desire to do uh because now that that devotion that earth wind and fire was singing early it's like now that you know you harness that power it's like you're you're doing everything that you desire to do um we have the 10 karmic completions and we have parenting so some of you all that is what is being uh closed out that is the sudden ending that some of you will experience and it's with your mother your father it could even be your children's mother or father but this is absolutely um some maternal or paternal energy uh that was a karmic connection uh, that the solar eclipse is, you know, you're, it's, it's getting the cuts, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? They ain't making the cuts in the new chapter, you know, this new version of you, this person, whomever this is, uh, whether this is your mother or your father or myth, whether it's the mother or father to your children, they will not be making the cuts because this is who spirit source universe, um, is activating that sudden ending for it's time for them to, you know, to, to, uh, be removed from the equation and not indefinitely but just in terms of trying to repair it's beyond repair is what I'm getting it's it's beyond repair um, and perhaps this is you having an epiphany that this person brought nothing but doom and damn gloom into your life they they, they were literally like a cloud you know raining on your parade every you know every high that you had they sabotaged it you know, maybe someone, some of you all, you know, could have gone to school and graduated, um, did things that should have been celebrated, and maybe they picked the fight and, and made it about them. You know, maybe there were things, accomplishments that you may have had in your life, and they always somehow sabotaged your happy moments. And maybe they do that one last time, and you realize it, and you are hip to it now, and you realize that is the cord that karmic cord needs to be cut needs to be severed for good you know what i'm talking about so this three and this one is four and this four and this three is seven so that is the seven that's the chariot now you're moving away and that is why we were getting a victorious outcome because now you are confident in who you are you have that emotional equilibrium you are balanced mind body and soul which is why you can control and operate that chariot 
and directed to go where you are going. So that's why we saw that leadership card because now you have taken the reins of your life. That's why you are following your dreams because now you know that you're the conduit of change and you're a manifester, uh, a master manifester and can manifest the life you desire. So that's why this sunny, bright yellow card is here because you realize someone for who they are. Someone can be a gift of gabber. Someone can be very manipulative. I feel someone is also stressing the hell out. Um, over the fact that um, they can feel this ending. They can feel, you know, that that change is coming because you're no longer um, feeding into some of the things uh, that they did for attention. Because I strongly get an attention whore. A lot of you all could have been dealing with, you know, masculine or feminine. It's like this is somebody that thrived from, you know, getting all the attention conversations that you're having with this person always is focused on them you can't get a word in edgewise um you know so this is that selfishness this is that narcissistic energy that some of you all were dealing with and i feel now it's just like you had an epiphany or an aha moment um but you're going to be moving on uh from this dark dark period and into a uh, beautiful bright energy so this is beautiful i love it but we have right now um who is this midnight star and this is called curious so i do feel like i said that you are coming off very mysterious and so that's going to have a lot of people very curious as to who you are you know like i said if you are you know frequent in certain supermarkets or just walking about people are like looking at you like who is this person you know because right now when when you start owning your power you just you just your your auric field becomes so uh magnetic you know you just you could just walk you could be you don't even have to be dressed up but you just will find people staring at you or people just wanting to communicate or be in your presence or be around you and it's because you're radiating that love and that light and it makes you attractive so you are piquing the interest and the curiosity of many people at this time you know um so be mindful of that that is another reason why it's important to uh trust your intuition as well so let's tap in beloved let's see who we got coming in going out going on with our beloved energy or that and so we have sixth chakra Archangel Metatron, and I was just speaking to trusting your intuition. Hot diggity doll, beloveds. You see how that works? So trust your intuition. Some of you all are going to have a backstabber on your hand. You know what I'm talking about? Because you got the OJs uh, letting you know that there's some backstabbers out there. What they do. They smile in your face. All the time they're trying to take your place, them backstabbers. So you got some folks that are not only admiring you for good reasons, because you're cute and you're smart and all that, and you radiate and love and light, but then you got them hating ass folks. You know what I'm talking about? So these are people that can be smiling and beguiling. And so uh, that is the reason why I feel like spirit is also telling you, um, you know, some of these connections that you have, it's time to assess those connections because everybody isn't meant to go where you are headed everybody is not going to make the cuts it's just not it's just not possible beloved so some of these people spirit already sees you know that that, that they snakish they speaking with forked tongues they fake a fugazi they're lychee parasitic they're energy vampires and so spirit is like look you know just because everybody's coming back and returning doesn't mean everybody's coming back and returning for uh, good reason. They're not coming back for good. They're coming back to see if they can, you know, get that last lick. You know what I'm talking about? So be mindful, you know, trust your intuition. Our angel Metatron is telling you with the sixth chakra, which is your first eye, use your first eye to see. You know what I'm talking about? And they may be speaking to that masculine, you know, that's coming in or that masculine that's listening in. Trust your intuition because whoever's coming back, um, this could be a challenge, you know, um, but this also could be saying that whoever is um, coming in, because mind you, this is also intuition here. So this person, you, you could be um, dealing with someone who's, uh, you know, perhaps realized that they were dealing with some old fugazis as well. 
um, and they could be trying to return because maybe they they just realize you know they realize like whoever they may have left you for or whoever they may have chose over you hey Katarins hey baby boo that's the friend do you just woke up from your nap you just woke up from your twenty years nap hi friend do hi baby 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 that's a friend do. But, um, yeah, so we're going to tap in and see what's going on. Let's see what we have on the split. So with that backstab, somebody was dealing with some backstabs. And look at that. Sitting here all self-sufficient and isht. Whether you're masculine or feminine, don't focus on the, the gender. we focusing on the energy out here. You know what I'm talking about? So this is beautiful. Self-sufficient. Independent. You know your worth. You know your value. You are not settling for anything because you good. You could do good on your, your own. You, you don't need anything. You don't need or want for anything, you know, and you're also very psychic, very intuitive. That black cat right there. I got a black cat. I was just loving on and that black cat speaks to, you know, being impervious to threat. So this is just like double, triple, uh, you know, confirmation, you know, that you have to be very mindful, um, you know, of, of, um, you know, your surroundings, make sure that you're meditating to get things straight, uh, be grounded like a tree. This six and this four reduces to one. That one is about standing erect, standing your ground and being the magi, you know, realize that you, uh, you are the conduit of change that you speak, you know, uh, you know, you speak life into, uh, this reality. Don't, don't allow, um, anyone or anything to manipulate you. Or to manipulate your actions, I say. So let's tap into it and let's see what's coming and going out going on for my beautiful Scorpio. We're gonna clarify these messages. Love it. What do we have on the Sis Aim? Oh, we making a good time. All right, sure. Let's see what we got coming and going out going on for my beautiful Scorpio. We're gonna get a message of peace, power, and protection. Look at that. You got caring connections, and this person is gonna love you right. Like he's protective. He's, he's protecting her. He's got her back, you know, he's got her back. And this could be someone who's, you know, learned some lessons along the way. You know, maybe they learned your love language. So they're going to come back bearing gifts, come back and apologize. You know what I'm talking about? Like this is this is someone who may express these feelings that they care for you. You know, they're going to say, look, I miss you. Um, we got um Climax. I miss you. I miss you. I'm messing up the damn tune, but that's it. They miss you. So whoever this is, this could definitely be someone that you haven't spoken to in a while. And with caring connections, I do feel like, you know, especially with this 46, you know, this is someone you could have potentially cared for. I feel this masculine, you know, energy or whoever is going to be trying to come back to um emote more you know this is someone that's going to come back bearing gifts like i said give you tangibles maybe you know a bouquet of flowers or maybe your favorite plant you know they're going to give you maybe you know uh, you know treat you out to eat or take you you know to do something recreational like throw axes go to a gun range you know, maybe go to a farm and ride horses. Who knows? But this is an energy of someone who's going to be very thoughtful, uh, I feel, in their approach. Because they do genuinely uh, miss you. You know, this is someone that does realize they miss you. Um, so let's tap in, beloved. Let's shuffle a couple more times. Okay, a card just flew out. So we're going to take it. See that? The sun. Here comes the sun. Da, 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 da. It's all right. This is you having that new beginning. Brighter days ahead. This is brighter days ahead. After going through the pain and the agony of the portrayal, the betray, the betray, y'all, the loss, the transformation from whatever karmic endings, loss, and you know whatever you've experienced, the sun is showing that you know this next chapter is going to be so beautiful. It, it's just going to be like. It's aligning you with your divine purpose, you know, and it's shifting your life in a completely new direction. And this is for the better. Your inner child, I feel like you've gained an awareness of who you are, but you've become awakened to your truth, to your worth. I feel someone also realizes that you're a star, that you're beautiful. They miss you. You know, this one, one, 
That's 11. This is that same 11, 11 I was picking up on earlier. But this is someone that does feel like, you know, um, you are the yin to their yang, the yang to their yin. Uh, this is a very spiritual and special connection to this person. And this is someone that's just coming to this enlightenment because they could have sabotaged it, like I said, unbeknownst to them because they were connected to some karmic connection as well. I feel you both could have had, um, you know, some, some karmic uh, lessons to learn, which is why it didn't, uh, this connection didn't take off at the time, uh, you know, that you was hoping because there was still so much work to do. You know, it's like, it's just like the, the it's almost like, the that energy of like when someone goes through um you know you could be with somebody for 10 years you know let's use this as just an example some with someone for 10 years you go through a painful relationship and then you back on a dating app like a month later and then you jump into another relationship and it's just like when did you give yourself the grace and the time to heal when did you give yourself the time to get grounded again to figure out who you are you know, to, to discover, you know, why certain things occur. Like, when did you take the time to self-reflect, you know, so that you could gain that self-awareness? When did you have the time to do that? It's like you didn't give yourself the grace. So I feel with this energy, with the both of those ones, that is exactly what I was saying earlier. When you are matching someone's vibration, it's because you both have experienced similar hurt. You've experienced similar scenarios, similar things. So you are going to connect on that level. And I feel strongly um, like this person has done their healing. They've grounded themselves. They've worked on themselves. They've gotten back to the self. They realized love was an inside job. And that's the work they've been doing, which is why they're having that aha moment. You know, whoever this is, I don't feel this is a, a, a toxic karmic ex. I feel this is someone you may have had a very strong connection with. But it never took off because there were still entanglements. There were still some loose ends, so to speak. And so we have SOS being, and this is called Just Be Good to Me. You know, so um, this person is sending a message, perhaps, you know, telepathically, intuitively, um, because they desire to come through. And they're just hoping that you will be receptive, that you will open up to them. Just be good to me. Um, maybe that's all you were asking for was like, yo, just be good to me. Treat me fairly. Treat me right. Don't don't treat me like you treat everybody else because I'm not everybody else. Maybe that's your sentiment now. Just be good to me. You good to me. I'm good to you. You know, what I'm talking about like whatever you give, you go and get. It's like, you know, if you come through on some some negative Nancy ish. You get in the chop. You, you, there's no place in your life for that there's, you're not making place you're not making space for that type of energy so it's just like just be good to me you coming through be good you know and being good is being godly like be aware you know be aware be self-aware be know who you're in the presence of even you when you treat people with love and light it's because you know you're in the presence of a, a potential god or goddess so it's like you want that same treatment. Recognize me for the goddess, the god that I am, the empress, the emperor that I am, the divine feminine, the divine masculine that I am. So that's powerful. And this crown chakra is still here on the bottom of the deck. Um, so let's shuffle a couple more times because that did drop out. So that's like a bonus message for you all. This is like that grand epiphany, awakening, someone realizing uh, perhaps even they didn't treat you right. You know, all you wanted, you didn't ask for much was, but just, you know, perhaps just be honest. You know, be real, be be loyal, you know, be faithful, be trustworthy. You know, you didn't ask for much. You wasn't out here digging in people's pockets and demanding material things. You accepted people for who they were, but they couldn't even give you the the, the, the expected. It's like, you know, the least you expected for somebody to just keep it a thousand. Like, just be real, beloved. Be, be, be genuine. You know, so let's tap in. Let's see what we got coming in, going out, going on. For my beautiful Scorpios, let's tap into this energy, lovers. See what we got. This cards, these two cards, they didn't jump out too much, but all right. So we got look at that. Somebody loves you. Didn't I tell y'all this person loves you? We got thirty three. That thirty three is six. This is someone not only from the past, but this is given love. This is given the lovers. This is given spirit is aligning you with someone who has the key to open up your locked heart. You know, this is someone who's also their heart chakra is open now because they could have been the type of person that was not vulnerable. 
They were not open to love. They were shut off to love because they were too egoic, too egotistical, um, too self-absorbed. And now their heart is open. Spirit is opening up this door. Doors open, you know, only for a period of time, you know. Um, this could even just be saying that this new chapter is saying uh, love is in the air for you all. I was feeling that there's a very spiritual, sacred connection, love ship, you know, that you are embarking on. This 33 is giving lovers. So I feel this is something your angels, ancestors are aligning you with because, you know, the lovers, if you look on traditional tarot, you see the angel, you know, overlooking that union. So it's as if they're bringing that union. And as I'm speaking of the angels bringing in a union, look who we have. I can't make this up, beloveds. Your figure deals me. <laughs> No, but you got Archangel Mikael here. I mean, uh, Raphael here, who deals with the heart chakra. And what was I saying about your person's number? Their number was four. Four deals with what? The heart chakra. Look at the number of the card, 38, 11. What were we just talking about? 11, 11. Who is that? One half of your divine and cosmic companion, Twin Flame. You both have been healing from past pains, wounds, and traumas. I feel you both had to learn to love yourselves. Because when you get into a union, you cannot get into a union not loving yourself. Because all you're going to get is exploited, treated like, you know, a doormat mistreated abused you know the relationship isn't going to be um you know what you expect it to be katara is about to turn this video off in true fashion true uh what do you call it blooper and and uh here you go you want to sit right there she loves sitting on um papers and <laughs> like true all cats like she loves her cardboard she'll go and just go lay on a cardboard don't let me get an amazon package you know, as soon as I bring the box in, she just gets to laying on top of it. But um, I love you too, friend. Do oh that baby, baby. She's so special. Every time I do a weed and she comes and listens, she's so connected. I love her. But um, yeah. So Archangel uh, Raphael is here to bring in this love, just as I said, conspiring. Um, you know, with this love ship, this connection that you're developing, and uh, we have uh, Sade, the sweetest taboo. So this is definitely perhaps, you know, um, a connection that uh, is going to be very, very beautiful, very sweet. Um, and I feel it's going to feel taboo because maybe, you know, maybe, maybe initially this is going to shock you. You're going to feel like, you know, how can I have such a strong connection to someone that I haven't spoken to or heard from in so long? And it's because it's it, this is uh, preordained. It's destined. It could even be a past life love. You know, even if you haven't met this person, if you have no such connection with anyone or you're not um, in any type of, uh, you know, um, separation from someone you may deem as your twin flame or soulmate. Maybe when you bump into this person whom spirit is obviously aligning you with, uh, it will feel like you've known them forever and it's because they are someone from a former life you know a past life love so we have you know that beautiful angel here overseeing that and bringing you into this union so that's beautiful so let's tap in so how does this person our beloved scorpios are attracting to feel about scorpio may have a message of peace power and protection from our beautiful scorpios how does this person scorpios are attracting to feel and the spirit and look at this deceit i can't make this up and this is what's hidden this is what's hidden, beloved, and we'll get to that. Interesting. I told y'all there was some eight, because remember, we had backstabbers by the OJs, you know, so somebody's name could start with an O or a J that's sitting there doing this, hating. They was probably born in the month of October or January, you know, but this is a hateful, deceitful, conniving, manipulative, backstabbing, you know what I'm saying, mother, uh -uh. but this right here. This is what flew out for how someone sees you. And remember, you know, that we saw this in the split. So this is woman holding a coin. So they see you as very self-sufficient, just as I said. Very self-made, you know. Um, very independent. Single. You know, attractive. Successful. A star. You know, someone who's in the limelight, perhaps. They see you as, you know, not even needing or wanting for anything. Um, definitely very domestic, very maternal, very grounded, and also wealthy. Like you may just, you know, appear very um, 
you know, you may like the finer things in life. Like some of you all may take pride in like, you know, um, your designers, you know, you may take pride in, you know, just getting nice things because you can, you know, um, or maybe you just really love to keep house. Like you love to take care of your home. You may have a beautiful, like I'm seeing a beautiful backyard with a garden, you know, some of you all may have even like a greenhouse. And even if it's something that you have made and crafted, it's like you have a greenhouse. You have, you know, a beautiful garden, you know, a beautiful um, array of flowers. Like you, you, you just keep a beautiful home. You know, when you're cooking, you just go out and clip some of your own, ba you know, basil or your own parsley, rosemary. Very beautiful energy I'm picking up on. Just very domestic, very maternal, very nurturing. And also resourceful, like you, you've, and you've done this work on your own. That's the reason why you don't have some haters. Just like I said, you know, this is the same energy that we just heard. Smiling faces. No, that's the wrong song. Sometimes they don't touch you. But the other one was um, uh, backstabbers. So that energy, this is someone that could have betrayed you. And this is someone who's still plotting, scheming, and scamming. And that's why Spirit is saying it's time for this ish to eclipse out of your life. <laughs> because nobody has time for that. You know, this could have been that maternal, paternal figure, energy that could be a little jelly. You know, because this is jealousy. You know, this is driven by jealousy, envy, you know, mere hate. You know, this, this is that energy. This is someone that lies like a rug. You can't believe a word this person says, beloved. They just say anything that comes to mind because their intent is to um, to dupe, to manipulate, to connive, to get over, you know. And they think everyone is stupid around them. This is also someone that will trick you because remember what I said about the mind being the devil's playground, right? And I was picking up someone, you know, while you were very guarded and protective of your energy you may have on the flip side someone who is very up in their head and when you're up in your head that means you know that's where the devil plays is in the mind you know that's why manipulation and gaslighting that's that's what the devil does it will trick you and dupe you into thinking you're crazy you know uh, so it causes a lot of anxiety so I feel like whoever is trying to do this to you um, they're trying to convince you to perhaps feel sorry for them and I feel that's why spirit made it my uh, uh, a, a point to say forgive but do so at a distance you can still be forgiving you can still sell, send prayers folks way you know at a distance you don't have to just forgive and just be like okay come on back in and ruin up some more shit you know like tear up some more ish like no you can forgive people and keep it pushing and live and thrive you know um Whoever this is obviously is pissed off that they're on the out, you know, they're on the outs. So they got to do all of this spying on the outs, you know, with that 25-7. This is someone that is very um, calculating. So they are like uh, spying on you, could be watching your social media, um, you know, just trying to get a one up, trying to get, you know, some sort of heads up on how to construct whatever this master plan they trying to devise but you you're so in tune and so guarded uh with this you know black cat here you obviously are intuitive and wise enough to trust your intuition and as i said you know black cats they're impervious to threat so you are impervious to threat you're not going to allow anything to threaten uh your success your peace your happiness your home your sanctuary that's your safe space so whoever this is, they're, they're pissed off because they're obviously on the outs and they haven't had an invite in quite some time. They haven't had a phone call. You know what I'm talking about? They haven't rubbed shoulders with you in a minute. So they're pissed, you know? So tap in. Let's tap in. So divine spirit of peace, power, and protection. Why is 99 compassion here? Thank you. I can't make this up. And look what we have here. Didn't I say somebody was coming back? We're going to try to entice you to get into an argument. It's hostile energy. Man, I can't make this up. And look at the world card. So this is the distance. But look at, more importantly, 
when I spoke of you being compassionate, I spoke of the fact that, you know, you, you have to heal thyself in order to love thyself. When you love thyself, you know thyself. So when you know thyself, you know that you don't need to act out of character um, with anyone returning. You don't need to get into no back and forth debates, arguments, because it's like you already realize and understand hurt people are going to hurt people because you were once hurt. You know what I'm talking about? And instead of hurting others, you chose to heal. You know, so you didn't want to perpetuate that. That's why you are out here on some grown man, grown woman ish. You just built different. You're different. You're not like the rest. Other people are doing petty stuff that everyone loves to associate with Scorpios as being devious and vindictive. And it's like, yeah, everybody's their lower selves. Um, you know, we all have shadow work to do. Every sign. It's, it's not just a Scorpio trait. Everybody can be devious. Everybody could be, you know, conniving. Everybody could be, um, um, you know, vindictive. But when you start to heal yourself, you realize you're, you, it doesn't make sense for you to lower your vibration. You know, you want to bring people up to your vibration. So you want to bring them higher. And if you can't bring them higher, you leave them behind. But this world card is speaking to you gaining a deeper, more profound understanding and perspective of yourself. You've learned how to navigate your life, which was not easy. You've been through arduous things, arduous experiences, changes, you know, loss, death. But you stood erect. You, you got back on your feet. So this distance is what you have created. And I feel whoever that is that is feeling that distance, um, that's feeling like they're on the outs is is taking um you know they could be taking uh it personally you know um they could be growing angrier and angrier uh the more you establish that distance uh and the more you don't back down um so with this energy also this is speaking to your ascension your growth your elevation like you've leveled up this is the last card of the major arcana you know and that 21 reduces to three you i mean that 29 reduces to the 11 so, you know, this is you learning your independence is the foundation of your stability, your security, your overall happiness. Because in the numerology deck, you know, that um, 11 is the individuality card. So that just speaks to you learning that, uh, you know, you have to heal you. you. You can't be responsible for anyone else. You have to heal yourself. And um, I feel when you realize that, that changes your whole vibration. And uh, whatever you have coming to you, is now going to you know be on that same frequency you're going to attract now what you are um and i feel whatever whomever you're attracting this is going to be someone uh that is absolutely um you know going to be like th this is that that uh yin yang energy you know someone that is going to bring balance uh, because I do feel like, especially with the 9-9 nine, nine and the compassion, uh, this is someone whose heart is open as well. This is someone that will not judge you. Uh, and we have Whitney Houston here singing her behind off, saving all my love for you, beloved. And it's 639, I mean 637 on the clock, which is 7. So that's somebody who now um, is coming in quickly asserting themselves my throat chakra got blocked yet again and you know this is someone that definitely is uh wanting to come in i hear the train out there but i feel this is someone that does feel like they have you know some form of an equal give and take you know uh the two is uh dealing with also uh the high priestess uh so that's also what's hidden you know and it's also reminding you to trust your intuition as well uh, because, you know, you, you, you may sense or feel some things are coming, you know, some things are drawing nearer and nearer, closer and closer. So someone uh, that could be coming in is someone that has been saving their love or saving this moment, this moment when they come back into uh, union, back into that connection with you. Uh, they're going to save that very moment to express their love, um, to express how um they never felt you know a love like this before you know this is something that they've uh become very aware of you know so this is beautiful so with this uh storm warning 10 uh this is just a warning and tens always mean it's an ending so whoever you had you know that karmic ending with it, it like i said it could potentially be a bumpy ride you know it, it's not like you're just gonna it's gonna be smooth sailing it could be painful 
um but this ending is is necessary uh you know but it, it, it may stir up past circumstances events um that are going to need your immediate attention and you the only way to get through it is you know to get to it the only way to get to it is to go through it rather to confront it so you know but it doesn't mean you have to to allow yourself to be angered um and you can make the decision whether or not you wish to entertain such conversations or such energy you know because we all have free will so like i said don't just feel like you got to go along to get along um just because somebody wants to have a conversation perhaps maybe that's the day you just like look i don't even need it beloved i, I don't even need an explanation at this point i'm good you know somebody might come back trying to act like you know they're coming under the guise of you know they've had a, an epiphany perhaps you know um playing the same old tricknology because when you look at this card it's yellow and that will you know kind of allude to the fact like oh there's awareness there's you know the bright yellow is is really about um you know illumination uh strength you know but this is also reminding you with that blue in there uh that there's some communication that you might need to you know like keep your ears open because it could be a whole lot of you know nonsense you know coming out of somebody's mouth for the umpteenth time you know what i'm talking about so just be mindful with the storm warning here it's like that conversation could lead to an argument it could lead to you know this person being able to transfer all that same negative energy that you have been avoiding right to you you know because once you allow your defenses down to entertain someone and then you allow them to anger you and then they just ride off in the sunset with a big old smile on their face because mission accomplished you know, now you all in your fields and they over there feeling accomplished because they got to pull that trick. Remember that this the devil was showing like he had something in his hands, like he's conjuring up something, he's manipulating something. So look alive, beloved. Remember Metatron said, use your first eye to see. Be discerning. Trust your gut intuition, you know, your gut inch um instinct, your gumption. Um, your inner wisdom. Don't just go along, get along. Don't just appease and please. With compassion, that doesn't mean you have to just accept people back, even if they're coming back from the past. That means you can show people love, uh, you know, uh, uh, forgive them at a distance. Pray for folks from a distance. If somebody calls you back with a sob story like they always did, that doesn't mean you have to internalize that. That's their, sometimes karma is something they have to deal with and it's not your job to intervene with their karma. So don't don't find yourselves getting in the way of somebody else's karma because then that can ricochet right onto you. You know what I'm talking about? So let's tap it. So why is this 10 uh, karmic completion parenting here for the outcome for my beloved Scorpios? We have a message of peace, power, and protection for my beautiful Scorpios. Where we at with time? Oh, damn. I'm like, I just realized I'm moving the camera when I shuffle. My bad, y'all. I can't stop it. Let me get a message for the karmic completion for the outcome spirit. Thank you, Spirit. Look at that. 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 These two cards flew out. Look at that. Envy. It's that same person. Deceitful envy person. This is your this is someone that's been very jealous of you the entire time. Pretending, oh, you know, using family as an excuse to backstab and manipulate and connive. Oh, we got children. Oh, we got this. Oh, we have family. This person has been envious of you, jealous of your shine. And this is someone you could have co-created with, or this could be your own mother or father. But there's a lot of envy and a lot of jealousy surrounding you, Scorpios. And it's because your light is shining bright. They tried to dim your light and they couldn't. Look what you did. Pardon my back. I got things to do. I got a life to live. And they sitting here hating on you. Look at the butterfly I was speaking to. You transformed on that ass like freaking Voltron. You transformed like Voltron. You know what I'm talking about? You transformed on that Decepticon is what you did. You said, pardon my back. And you worked on you. And you're about to ascend to higher levels. Because you're about to go up those staircase, which speaks to heightened levels. There's also with the book stacked up here. You've learned. You know that self. You're not falling for the old trick. You know, you're not going to fall for the banana and the tailpipe. You know what I'm talking about? You're not going to fall for the old banana and the tailpipe. Not, no, 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 no. See that? You got money to collect. You got happiness to collect. This is emotional fulfillment. This is financial fulfillment. This is just fulfillment overall, success for what you have accomplished in your life. 
because you've planted the seeds and spirit saw the work that you did. This is a learned woman. You are too smart to fall for the old banana in the tailpipe. You ain't falling for the okie doke no more. Like who they think they playing with? And this is why they're envious because it's like they, they're literally being left behind. This is why spirit said it's time to clip your wings. This eclipse is going to clip, not your wings, but it's going to clip uh, those ties, you know, those loose ends. Look at that. And you riding off into the sunset with your divine masculine. Remember the four I was telling you, the 1111, your divine feminine. This is building a family, the nucleus. This is having a, a, a supportive partner. This is someone you're collaborating with, building and nurturing and cultivating a relationship, building a legacy. This is happy house, happy spouse. This is happily ever after. This is someone you're going to have a very beautiful connection with. Family outings, family trips. Family conversations, sitting down, eating and breaking bread with the family. This is overjoyed. Like, this is the transformation that's taking place. And some of you all deal with Mama Oya. Mama Oya is, you know, she is a beautiful and powerful Orisha. And she rules over that scorpionic energy because she is about transformation and regeneration. Change, sudden changes. And with that big, beautiful rainbow, this is the change. You're coming into happier times. Wish fulfillments, blessings that are unexpected. Unexpected. So let's tap in below. Uh, uh, so let's get some messages from my dad. So I have, I want to hear your voice again. I miss you. And didn't we just have climax singing, I miss you? This person could be self pleasing also with that climax. You know, but this person is thinking about you heavily. They want to hear your voice again. I knew there was no communication because I kept getting choked up whenever I spoke of that person. This is someone now who's realizing very much, you know, they are very much aware. They've had that epiphany. And we have, um, look at that. I was just talking about somebody self-pleasuring and we have, I didn't mean to turn you on. <laughs> Oh man, I, I don't know who that is by because it got some fake download name, but um, I forgot who that was. But this is somebody that, like I said, you're so attractive and they may find themselves pleasing themselves, you know, self-pleasuring, if you will. So let's tap in, beloved. We're going to clarify these messages and then we're going to <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do this. Let's see what we got coming and going on going on for my beloved Scorpios. I love this. I love when spirit does this. Absolutely gorgeous. I love it already. Already. So we have here, you are unlike anyone I've ever met or dealt with. Didn't I tell y'all y'all was rare? They ain't gonna bump into another you out here. It's just not possible. Cause you're rare. You're different. That's the mysterious. That's the, the mystique that surrounds Scorpios. That's the curiosity. That's why people are so focused on you and they envious and jealous and deceitful and conjuring up shit. Because y'all just got a different type of energy out here. You different. You're not like everybody else. You're not. So look what came out. We're grounded, balanced, and aligned. I spoke to you all doing just that. When you remain grounded, balanced, and in alignment, nobody can move you. When you're grounded like a tree, nobody can move you because you're rooted. You're rooted in your values. You're rooted in your principle. Nobody can move you with the nonsense. So this is how you were able to make that conscious decision to leave a situation that was no longer harmonious, which means it was out of balance. So you went elsewhere to go find that. And you found that by means of healing your inner child, by getting back to the self, by Shining that inner light, you know, that inner light, doing that internal work, healing at a soul level, going to the root cause. That one is associated with the root chakra. If your root is out of whack, everything else is as well. All the other chakras is out of whack. So it's very important to heal that root chakra, especially when that's your chakra. And that's what you did. And <laughs> so we got to meditate to get it straight. Said that too. When you meditate and contemplate, that's when you make very sound decisions and I feel that's exactly how you were able to come to the conclusion that certain things had to be X out of your life. We also have remember you teach people how you how to treat you be your authentic self. So this is again self love. When you love yourself and you know yourself then you will absolutely attract others that can appreciate that love that you show yourself because they will also 
show love in the same way they see you giving yourself that love. And look at this. The ancestors approve. They are pleased. And didn't I tell you that ancestors were conspiring behind the scenes to bring you what you are just do, what you are deserving of. Absolutely amazing. And we have what doesn't kill you, kills you. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. So whoever this was, whatever this was that you endured, it was always designed to um, elevate you, you know, to help you to better navigate the world, to help you to gain that deeper, more profound understanding, to make you more self-aware because every great healer had to first heal themselves. So you're being prepared, you're being, uh, you know, anointed and appointed a position, a role, a task, beloved. This is beautiful. So we got a couple of cards that says looking for that happily ever after. So some of you all, if you were looking for it, it's, it's, it, I feel you ain't going to have to look much further. You know, maybe someone was looking for that happily ever after elsewhere. But these cards were face down, so I'm going to put that here. I feel like that goes there because this person was looking for that happily ever after. And I feel like they found it. They, they didn't find it where they initially, um, you know, with, what they, where they initially uh, chose to be, you know. And it says don't fight the feelings. So they were fighting how they felt for quite some time. Until it's just like it becomes so difficult to fight it because you find yourself thinking of a person constantly. You find yourself spying on a person, just acting out of character. You might find yourself driving by somebody home, stalking them. Like they start doing things out of character because they can't fight the feelings. You know, they was looking for something where it wasn't even um, it wasn't even possible. You know, whatever they thought they were going to get out of that situation that they were just holding on to. It, it wasn't possible because love didn't live there. You know, it didn't live there. It simply just didn't. So you are unlike anyone I've ever met, met before. And we're about to pull the energy for how they feel about you. How fitting. Didn't I say that? Like, you're rare, you know. So you're definitely not going to find another if it's a rare. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If it's rare, it's like, you know, chances you bumping into two, two rare finds is very, like, it's not, uh, it's like impossible. So let's tap in, beloved. Let's tap in. Let's see why is 44 environment here. All right, we're going to put these back in there. That's too many cards, but I am going to take those. So we got dive deep. So that's that internal work, introspection, reflection. So we have spiritually guided, divinely protected. So they do know that you are very spiritually strong, very in tune, very connected, very grounded. They feel you're very wise. They also feel, especially with this rejection, is for your protection. Like if you were also dealing with a situation um, where you were rejected, they realize like you you turned your pain into power. My right hand is itching, so I feel like you all may have some money coming, and my nose is itching like crazy. So I feel like spirit is like, you right on the nose, you right on the nose. You know what I'm talking about? Like, that's like my little, that's, those are some of the sensations I get when I start channeling. But with this rejection is for your protection. It's like, you realize that now, how they feel about you is they know that, you know, even with them, if, the, if things didn't happen, if this is someone, you know, uh, for instance, and it didn't happen at that time. Um, you realize this because maybe, like I said, there were some entanglements or some loose ends that still needed to be, you know, clipped. Um, and so you know, the timing is, is, is what you're um, realizing was uh, it was very important that timing uh, that you were able to take getting to know you again, getting to healing you, you know, getting to loving yourself again. You know, so you realize that you were being protected by the very thing that you thought you wanted or thought you needed, thought you couldn't live without. You were actually being protected by spirit because uh, it's a potential you could have lost yourself yet again. Um, so there was some healing you had to focus on more importantly and look what we have. I want to hear your voice again. I, um, I miss you. So that same person, definitely, this is their sentiment. Like I said, we got nature walks, nature talks. So a lot of you all, I feel like when you go out into nature, you may start receiving a lot of synchronicities. You may see a lot of animal totems. Um, when you're out there, you need to look up the spiritual meanings. Um, if you have your device, look at the time when you're seeing that. Um, because you're being communicated with. I feel whoever this is, you also may have bumped into this person or this may be someone you met in an outside setting um, and you may just found yourself having like this long conversation with this person 
the first time you met them just random conversation and it just lasted longer than you thought and and you realize the connection you realize there was some sort of chemistry or synergy or maybe it was just that 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 um it was just attractive that you found someone that thought like you did but i feel you met this person in an outside setting the connection was very natural it was very like organic like whoever this was um it wasn't forced it wasn't fake it was like very organic and you cut all negativity off because you're not dealing with the nonsense didn't i say some certain people aren't making the cuts i was referencing cutting and 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 um you know with the clips clipping and and look what we got no time for fake ones snip 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 so this is you cutting all uh out of your life that you know no longer serves your highest good this is you realizing it and and being obedient to spirit when they say look it's time to get rid of the old and it's time to make room for the new so this is you really saying, okay, I'm making the cuts and, and you're doing so unapologetically. You're realizing those people that rejected you in the past that you went hard in the paint for, they, it was all for your, it was all in your best interest. You know, there's no hard feelings now because now you get it. You know what I'm talking about? Like you realize why you went, you know, through those experiences because it helped you to grow. You had those growing pains. This is beautiful. See that? I can't make this up. It didn't happen to you. Happened for you. Happened for you. That's a beautiful feeling. I love it. See that? We dive deep. So we're about to, you know, clarify what's hidden. So whoever this is that's hidden or whatever's hidden, um, I feel like, you know, it's hidden because uh, there's some internal work taking place. Uh, there's some reflection. It's like you're not on the grid at this time, you know, um, with that nine, that's like the hermit mode and isolation. So you're diving deep. The hermit is a wizard. He knows the answers he seeks are found within. So a lot of you are, you know, doing internal work at this time, introspecting and reflecting. And that's a beautiful thing. So I'll shade to that. So divine spirit. Oh, I love it. Take your power back now. So someone has that epiphany and that's why they're walking away and they're ending the cycle. The world card, like I said, is the end. That's the last card of the major arcana. So the last lesson has been learned, and the power you you're, you're owning your power now. Someone could also be walking away and ending, you know, a situation with a karmic, and uh, it's because they finally, um, you know, they finally stand up. They finally stand up to the bully, or they finally say no, you know, to the narcissist, you know, or they finally walk away. You know, from, you know, an unrequited love or, you know, a, a, an imbalanced connection or a toxic connection, a karmic connection. And we have, look at that, play a player from the Himalaya. And we're about to pull the card for the outcome energy. And remember, we had the parenting and we had that karmic completion. So this is what you are eclipsing, cutting, snipping out of your life. So if you all were dealing with a mother or father to your children... You know, that was a player that thought they was playing you, but ended up playing themselves far worse than they ever could do you. Because <laughs> what they did to you was a favor. Because <laughs> they showed their true colors. Because had they not did what they did, you wouldn't have woke up to the nonsense. So this player got played because you said, pardon my back. And you're now walking into a very abundant and prosperous life and it's because you did your due diligence you did your work you didn't back down you didn't make any freaking um excuses you didn't blame anybody else you just did your work you took the l and you got back up and you rebuilt and now this person is envious and jealous this is that same player so this is that same person that does not take accountability this is that same insensitive person so even if someone comes back like i said it may be multiple people because this is just the energy that you know uh mercury retrograde uh brings up the past you know so that you you could be tested to see are you over it are you done with it you you know um and so i feel like you may some of you all may find your 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 children's mother or father or ex uh you know coming back into your life trying to convince you they want to rebuild but their energy is funky you know funky energy you know nasty so we have um look at this we have um angela bofield and this is called I try. So I feel like that was your sentiment. You tried and tried till you couldn't try no more. And you're not willing to try anymore because you realize even if this person comes back saying they want to try, their actions have not proven such because they're still on this playing ish, which is very childish. 
you know, nobody got time for that. So you're not, you're not willing to try. I feel like you've tried enough and you're not willing to try. And even the fact that this person is going to try to come back and say, I'm, I'm willing to try, um, that in and of itself is just not, um, it's not acceptable. It's not enough anymore. You know, not when you out here with divine feminine, divine masculine energy. We don't do the trying. <laughs> you know, you do. You don't try. You do. You just do. You know, because you know better. When you know better, you do better. So, you know better. You know, as an adult, you know better not to be out here playing. Who got time for that? So, let's tap in. So, let's get the outcome and then go, what? Okie dokie. Are you going to fall too? Okay. So, I don't want the whole gazillion cards to fall. So, we're going to put this back. Can I close? Thank you. So we have in the bottom of the deck, it says, I don't do well with people who are attacked, detached from their emotions. So this is your sentiment because you're an emotionally intelligent being, Scorpio. So you don't take too kindly to people coming back and emotionally manipulating you. So you're not going to um, put up with anyone um, that cannot see outside of their own perspective. Um, that's very one-sided. That's very narcissistic. It, and it's not your love language. It's not anything you want to indulge in. And so you're not going to participate in that, which is why I feel you're going to be very guarded um, because you're giving that energy your back. Because shit has, pardon me, things have changed, obviously, with the butterfly there. Life is growing and evolving for you uh, very abundantly, you know, especially since this person has been cut out. Uh, so they're going to be a little salty. So look what we got that came out. It says, cut the karmic cords, lessons already learned. So that means this karmic um, that is, you know, very hell-bent on coming back to perhaps, you know, seek revenge or to, to do something to dupe you. Um, they have, you know, some sort of vendetta. And Spirit is telling you, you don't want to repeat, you don't want to duplicate. Just keep people at a distance when they come in through with funky energy because all that's going to, they're just trying to transfer some sort of energy. They're trying to, because uh, remember the storm warning, I was just getting a sense of like somebody trying to entice you or trying to, um, you know, trying to uh, like pick a fight. You know what I'm saying? You know, that's, that's just like, you know, and spirit is like, look, another reference to cutting something out, snipping, cutting releasing, eclipsing. So this is what I said in the very intro about the Scorpio uh, lunar eclipse, um, that these sudden endings are taking place. And it's because it's like, it's done. And look, what we have destroy and rebuild. That's what you did. So whoever that person was that destroyed what you initially was building with that person, especially with that domestic harmony, that speaks to maybe you cohabitated with this person, uh, procreated with this person, uh, thought you was cultivating with this person and they were destroying everything you were building. So just imagine while you sitting there laying the cement and putting the brick, somebody comes and takes the brick off and, and scrapes the cement off. So as you're trying to build this wall or this building or, you know, this foundation, someone is coming in and, and taking what you're, you know, what you are attempting to build. They're, they're like, they're um, destroying it. That, so you, you never make progress. So whatever isn't growing, it's dead. So that connection was dead, stinking, and buried when you, you started feeling like this, <laughs> all gray and gloomy and ish. You know, it, you ain't have no sunny days dealing with that type of energy because they were such a narcissistic, uh, self-centered, know-it-all, gaslighting, love bombing, just a tripnologist like this. That That's a funky energy I'm getting. And so we have, I'm sorry for pushing you away. I long for your smile, your conversation. You get me. And so they may use every trick in the book saying everything they think you want to hear. But it's all to keep you what? Stuck and freaking stagnant. So be mindful of who comes around. Because you're going to have a couple people that are going to be like very interested. Um, and I'm not saying shut everybody down. I'm not saying to to be closed off to everything because I feel you have the same way you have some 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 sussy energy coming in. You have some beautiful energy coming in. You people coming in with that have genuine love. But this person, this parent, I don't know what this who this is. This could be your baby mama, baby daddy. This could be your mama, your daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody coming back to get some like they 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 can't stand your ass. I'm sorry. That's all I see is like I see vengeance. You know when I see these this, these cards together and it says it was all growing pains. So this is in another way spirit saying, look, you've already learned the lesson. Everything you've been through, 
It was all growing pains. It was meant for you to grow from the experience, not to go back and repeat it. You already learned the lesson. So what you going back? What you looking backwards for? You already learned the lesson. If you learned the lesson, are you going to take a class? You going to pay six thousand dollars to take a class, and then next semester you going to take the same class? If you already paid for it in the past, the, the, like that. So that's literally the same thing. That's what spirit is saying. And then we have you are a miracle and you deserve the best. So that's how you walk in our chair light now, because you know your worth and value. This is what you realize. After your transformation, after your trials, after the tests, you realize who you are. It's your birthright to live in abundance. It's your birthright to have happiness and joy and peace in your life. And not these narcissistic, you know, parasitic energy vampires. So you realize who you are. And you also realize your love language. You don't do well on some one-sided ish, on non-reciprocal connections. That's not your love language. You ain't vibing with it. You ain't giving it the time of day, beloveds. But this is your reading, my beautiful Scorpios. I hope this message resonated for you because it is a very beautiful message. Um, so thank you all for tuning and tapping in. If you are new, I hope you stay a while. I hope you enjoyed the reading, enjoyed my energy, enjoyed the way I read. If you did, please hit the like button, show the love. That's the way things work on YouTube. Get the video into the algorithms. And if you feel so inclined, subscribe to the channel. Become a member of the Soul Tribe Soul Family. Um, hit the bell notification so you know whenever I upload. And to all of my beautiful, beautiful Scorpios who are returning, you already know what it is. Love is love is love. Thank you all. Until next time, I send a big fat ashe. Peace.